In this section, we want to start uh, building a conceptual understanding of what definite integrals are. And then we want to look at how we can come up with approximate values for definite integrals. So before we get into any of that specifically, let's just talk about the idea of coming up with a calculation for distance traveled. So assuming a person drives at a constant rate of 70 miles an hour, how far have they traveled after four hours? So we could represent this on a graph with our x-axis representing time, t, and hours, and the y-axis representing r, the rate traveled, or the rate of speed. So what we're interested in is the distance traveled after four hours while traveling at a rate of 70 miles an hour. So what we're saying is each hour, that rate of speed is constant. So what we have is a, a vehicle or a person in a vehicle that's traveling at 70 miles an hour for four hours. What you might recall for some, from some previous courses is a formula for distance, which is given as distance equals rate times time. So if we take the rate of travel, assuming that's constant, times the number of hours, that should give us the total distance, which in this case would be d equals 70 times 4, or 280. So if we travel for 4 hours at 70 miles an hour, we'll have driven a total of 280 miles. So geometrically what we're doing in a situation like that, if we closed off this fourth side, we're essentially ending up with a rectangle whose height is 4, and width is 70, or if we thought about it, that is length and width. But we have two dimensions of a rectangle. When we multiply those two values together, what we're doing is finding the area of that rectangle. So in calculating distance equals rate times time, essentially what we're calculating is area equals length times width. So we're finding the area of this rectangular region, which we could also describe as the area between our function or our curve and the x-axis. So in this case, the length times width of that rectangle would again give us 280 miles. So when we talk about definite integrals, this is the type of problem we're going to be interested in solving. Given some function, how do we find the area between that curve and the x-axis?